Now in this video, we will discuss about strings. As we have already discussed about the strings a bit in the data types, but here in this video, we will cover some more functionalities that is provided by a string class in .NET Framework. So let's go practically and see the implementation. So in this very simple example of strings, you can see first of all I have taken a couple of variables called f name and l name which will get some value like first name and last name and I have used the plus operator right here in order to concatenate these values as plus operator is also used to add the numerical values whether it is a decimal or non-decimal number but here it will be used for the concatenation so as soon as I will concatenate them you will see the full name right here which will be assigned in this full name so when I will execute this in the first output because there are so many so in the first output you can see there is full name Anadi Sharma if you want to add some space as well you can put the one more concatenation operator and can concatenate a space between the names alright so it will be much clearer Apart from that, you can also use the string.concat function which is a static concat method of a string. So you can pass like f name, comma, l name. So it will concatenate these two values and will look like this. Alright? So either you can use the concatenation operator or this concat function in order to concatenate two strings. As I see here, like this is the string containing some set of characters I can also refer that as the array of character type so here in this particular section as you can see I have taken a character array letters in which I have passed some letters if I want to merge them as a string so what I can do I can call the constructor of string and pass this character array right here so it will be merged all as a string and will assigned in the greetings variable and later I can print that like here you can see greetings hello similarly if you want to split a string into an array what you can do that as well like here as I can see char array ch is equal to greetings dot to char array right so this is how you can convert an character array to a string Similarly, you can convert a string to character array using this particular method. Now, you can also see a join method here. As first of all, I have taken a string array which is containing a number of strings into it. And when I want to join them, I can use the join method right here which will join it with the space. You can pass any particular character or string which will be used after each particular string from the array right since I have taken space so when I will get this particular message you will see like hello space from space tutorial space point alright like if I replace it with the hyphen you can see the hyphen in between alright so this is how you can start merging I should say or joining the number of strings using the join method now we have a spe specified data type in dot and framework for the date time thing so here I have taken that date time data type called waiting and I have specified the number of things as I am using this particular constructor you can see first one is year month day hours minutes second alright so it will come it will combinely create a particular date and time called 10th October 2012 5.58 minutes 1 seconds in p.m. alright so this is how I formed one date time right here and when you will use this string dot format here so far we have used this string dot format or this the console dot write line I have passed this one which will take the first element after this comma alright that is in the zeroth index but now what it will do I only have the first part that is waiting alright so in this particular section I will take the time part that is colon T and in this particular part I will take the date part alright so th this waiting comprises both date as well as time time part will be extracted by this and date part will be extracted by this 
and using this I will form a particular string called chat and I will print it right here so you can see like message sent at 5:58 p.m. on Wednesday October 10th 2012 this is how it formatted it all right so this is how you can start working with the strings with some basic functionalities let's say I have one more string like tutorials point India private limited and I want to convert it to a particular case so here I can take some more string variables for doing that like lower is equal to str dot lower to lower all right similarly string upper is equal to str dot to upper and later you can print these values in order to get the output like I printed lower and upper all right and let me change that to full one all right now let's execute you can see this whole string is converted firstly in the lower case and then in the upper case so this is how you can modify the cases of them and suppose if you want to check in a particular situation like you want to trace a particular string starting with some particular thing or ending with some particular things all right so what you can do is let's say console dot write line and let's say it's str dot starts with all right starts with and now here you can pass the particular string or some particular characters some set of characters whether you want to take the case sensitivity on or off by default it will be case sensitive all right so let's say I use starts with so I'll say tu you see it starts with tu but u is not in caps here I passed u in caps so when I will execute this it will give me a false because starts with will return u of boolean value all right so if I'll say tu now this is what it is starting with all right so it is giving me the true similarly you can also use the ends with like it is not ending with tu so it will give you a false it is ending with ed but if I'll pass that in the upper case or in some different case it will give you a false but if I'll pass it in exact same case it will give me a true so this is how you can compare the starting or ending of any string if it uh, matters in your programming to some extent all right so starts with and ends with will check the starting and ending sequences similarly I do have a method here called contains where I can pass a particular string which I need to check whether it contains that particular part or not like here I say India whether this particular str contains somewhere India in it or not obviously I do have so it is getting me true now if I will use it in lower case so it will give you false that is by default it is also taking the case sensitivity things all right now what I can do like let's pass some other things which I don't have here let's say a b c d so obviously I don't have so again it will give me a false so if you want to check whether some particular substrings inside this string whether that exists or not so it will give me it, we can check that by contains method for comparing a couple of strings I have the equals method like here you can see I have taken a variable string upper where I said str dot to upper so obviously as we have already checked like it will convert the whole string to the upper case so when I will compare this str with the upper it will simply give you a false because the cases will be different even if the value is different it will give you a false but if you want to ignore the cases what you can do is in the second parameter you can say string comparison dot current culture ignore case so since current culture here is English and I am going to ignore the case so now if there is only the difference in the cases it will give you a true because now it is ignoring the case but yes if you will make some changes in the content of that let's say I say upper is equal to TP so obviously now the complete value is changed and if I'll check now it will give you a false now here I'm going to use index of method as here the index starts with a zero like t will be zero then one two three and so on so I want to check the index of i n as the first i n here I will get in this particular position if you will count the first position of i n will be at the twelfth index it will only check the in index of the first letter of this particular substring 
So this is 12. So if I will execute this, you will see like, okay, this is the 12th element. But if you'll notice, I have already ignored the cases and in this particular situation, I'm also getting an IN right here in the India. So if I want to check the another value, so what I can do, I can use the start index as by default, the starting index will be from zero. But now if I will set it like 13, so after 13, whenever I'll get the IN again, I want to get that. So I can do that by this second parameter, which is the starting index. So now I pass 13, 13th is this N after that 14, 15 and 16. So this is the 16th position, right? So I will get it again like 16th. All right. So this is how you can work with the index of in order to get the index of any particular substring in between. So after going through a number of methods, let's find out some property as well. Like length is a very common property of string type, which will get you the length of the current string. So as you see, when I'll execute this, I will get the complete length of this particular string. So this is how you can start working with some basic operations of string.